My name is Peter Ma. I'm a Rapid Prototype Specialist. I build a clean water AI. I was a developer for most of my life and really like participating in hackathons. There's a lot more challenges than sitting at a desk job. Peter and I were both very actively participating in hackathons all over the San Francisco Bay Area. The very first AI project I was playing with is just a recognition between dog and cats. That really opened up the door for me. It's like, if I can recognize a cat and a dog, then I can recognize this is a skin cancer or not. From there, you can recognize whether the water is contaminated with certain bacteria and contaminants. I've traveled more than 30 countries in the past three years, and I always gotten bacteria infection. Every time he would land in a new place, the first stop would be to get antibiotics to prevent himself from getting sick from drinking the local water. I thought this was a developed nation problem, but when Flint, Michigan crisis broke out, I realized this is a humanity problem. At the time, I was basically playing with AI on the edge, and I thought this would be a really good use case for how you can use artificial intelligence to do good. He told me about a vision that he had about bringing clean water to the entire world. I really wanted to be a part of it. Clean Water AI is an artificial intelligence that uses a microscopic camera to detect bacteria and other contaminants. The traditional method of testing for contamination is with chemical test strips. The chemical strips are usually one-time use. With Clean Water AI, we actually use the optical solution by inferencing the entire water flow through the microscopic camera. This way, when a new type of bacteria come out, we can simply train our neural network our original prototype was just a laptop with a newer computing stick and uh, connect to a microscopic camera. From there, we moved everything to an IoT device. And now, in our third iteration, we have a self-containing device. All these iterations have done through AI on the edge. We're basically doing the artificial intelligence and inferencing on the device itself. Internally, we really thought a clean water AI was a good idea, but we wanted a validation from the market. So the uh, Microsoft AI Lab Challenge was a very good opportunity for us to see whether you know the idea actually validates with other people. After we found out we were the winner for the challenge, we actually were very encouraged that makes us want to finish the product and bring it to the world. With advancement of deep learning neural network, now you can empower yourself to find your own use case and how you want to change the world. The entire project is actually open sourced with step-by-step -step guide on how to build your own clean water AI. To learn more, you can go to AILab.microsoft.com or cleanwaterai.com.